Man, I can't believe I actually managed to do all five days. I guess I really did ace this challenge I gave myself. Howdy y'all, I'm Mickey, and welcome to the last day of my Asexual Awareness Week video series. Today we are talking about common misconceptions people have about asexuality. These are things that quite a few people think about asexuality that just aren't true. First, most common, is that asexuality means you don't want or like sex. Depending on who you're seeing say this, they might say it a lot more crudely, but I don't swear, so I'm just gonna stick with that. But basically, that's just not what asexuality means. Asexuality means you don't feel sexual attraction towards others. It's a sexual orientation just like homosexuality or bisexuality or any of the other sexualities. That's it. It doesn't mean a lack of sex drive. That's not its meaning. Yes, some aces are sex repulsed, but some allosexual people are sex repulsed too. That's not determined by your sexual orientation. Some people who are asexual still have sex for various reasons. Some can be that they like the intimacy it has, some might want biological children, some might just like sex, and maybe they have other reasons for why they do this. Whatever the reason, it still doesn't mean they feel sexual attraction, it just means that maybe they want to have sex sometimes. Sexual desire and attraction, not always the same thing. Another misconception is that asexuality means there's something wrong with your hormones or your health in general. Again, that's not what asexual means, since a lot of the people who believe that believe that asexuality means no libido, and that's not what it means. It's a sexuality, and I don't think there's any proof that hormones affect what your sexual orientation is, because otherwise gay people and straight people would all have different hormone levels. And I don't think any study has ever shown that. Just, you're attracted to who you're attracted to, and for some people, that's no one. The third misconception is that asexuality means you don't want a relationship. Again, maybe some aces don't want a relationship. But as I said in a previous video this week, a lot of aces do experience romantic attraction and a lot of people who experience romantic attraction might want to pursue that attraction and have a relationship. And though sex is an important factor in a relationship to many people, it is not the be-all end-all of a romantic relationship. And there can be good, happy relationships with no sex. I'm gonna try not to get too discoursey in this video just because I don't wanna, but another common misconception I saw personally was that asexuality invalidates or waters down the other parts of your identity. Being ace doesn't mean that you can't be romantically attracted to the same or multiple genders. and it definitely doesn't make you less trans. Asexuality alone does not determine the other parts of your identity. On the flip side though, asexuality is not irrelevant to people's identities either, which is another thing I've heard people say. While it might not directly determine the rest of your identity, being asexual can definitely influence how you relate to your sexuality or how you recognize it. Also, asexuality is a really important label to a lot of people. It's far from irrelevant. Another misconception is that aces are overly innocent. Sexual attraction doesn't determine maturity. I mean, 
Have you seen some frat bros? Seriously though, your sexuality may influence some things as you grow up, but maturity is not one of them. And sexual attraction is not really what marks adults. Generally that's feeling like you have a better handle on the world, maybe some good decision making skills, or at least you have the ability to make a decision. I don't know, I'm new to this whole adulting thing, but I'm figuring it out while still being ace. A similar misconception is that aces are emotionless or robots. You'll see this a lot, especially when people talk about characters that they see as asexual and they're all like characters with no emotions. But we're people and my emotions might be a little weird, but that's probably more because I'm a sleep deprived teenager and less because I'm asexual. But seriously, we're people. We're gonna feel things. I also want to say that feeling less intensely than the norm is not inherently a bad thing. The next misconception I see a lot is that ultra-religious people love you if you're asexual. But if you actually listen to a lot of those uber-religious folks, they believe it's our job as God's children to get married in a heterosexual relationship and have tons of children to pass on the word of God and like increase the population of the church depending on which religion you are. They literally think you are put on earth to love God, marry, and reproduce. And they see attraction to people you're supposed to be attracted to as a gift from God. And if you don't have that, or your existence threatens their way of how you should live, they don't like you. That doesn't just stop applying. Really, a lot of them aren't for anything that goes against what they have built up as what is normal. And what they think is normal? Yeah, asexuality is not in that. A pretty ridiculous misconception that more than one person has tried to say is that asexuality is too new to be considered any way relevant and that like it was created back in 2001 by David J because he made a form for it. When in actuality, asexuality's been known for a bit. Even if it wasn't like common knowledge, it's been a concept. In 1978, a man named Michael Storms tried to expand on the Kinsey scale because he felt it didn't cover human sexuality well enough with just two ends of the graph. He proposed a model of attraction that would place you on various points along homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, and asexual. Instead, Storms did that in 1978. That's before 2001. And the last misconception I'm bringing up in this video is so, so irritating and so ridiculous and yet it is used all the time. And that's the plant jokes. The whole asexual means reproducing non-sexually and humans can't do that so obviously humans can't be asexual, you're just like, I'm sorry, does gay only mean happy now? Does queer only mean weird? Does straight only mean uncurved or unbent? No, they don't, because that's not how language works. That's never been how language works. Sometimes words mean more than one thing. And that's all I have for Asexual Awareness Week. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something or at least felt a little more aware of your local aces. There's still one more day left of Asexual Awareness Week tomorrow. I won't be releasing a video, but maybe during this lovely week, you can let the aces you may or may not know in real life or online 
that they're pretty rad. I hope that in the future people know more about this sexuality since it's not overly well known so far, but with moves with characters like Rafael Santiago and Shadowhunters, or that one guy, I think his name is Todd and Bojack Horseman, with more representation and education and visibility and awareness, hopefully asexuality won't remain so not well known. That's what I hope for the future, but we won't know until we get there. For now, this is it. Ciao.